Hey Hot Garbage Squad, Foxy is here with a new video on teaching how to use Karzan Remains for the 2A Bernard. So the level five is wind, which means you are going to be abusing your Shayna here. So I'm making a Varus because I wanna make some content with it, but I'd probably do Bernard first. Here's my Shayna on a Fatal Blade set. And keep in mind, these are my stats that enables me to have one minute run, but obviously I don't think you need runes this fast. Like if you're on the 60, 70, 80 speed mark, I think it's totally fine, but I went super overkill. And again, my Fran, super overkill in speed. If you have a violent one, probably better because when you're running, when you're in Karzan or any PVE dungeon, there's no speed requirement that makes you need 300 speed, okay? So that's why we recommend your friends should be on bond for most of you guys. This is the fastest team I have right now because as you guys all know, Shayna defense breaks the trash wave, Maruna AoEs and destroys the whole trash wave. And I will explore other teams with um, in this video, but this is the fastest I've come along so far. In the comments below, let me know what you're using, if it's fast, it's safe, or different parts of the gameplay, but this is my speed run. And I'll try some other teams to showcase to you guys uh, what alternatives that you can use. Maybe you don't have Shayna, maybe you don't have Maruna, or maybe you just don't have any twins because you're super early game. Uh, I guarantee you this whole Lauren Verd thing is going to work, but it's gonna be like a three, four minute team like every other dungeon. So I'm not, I'm probably not gonna show that, but I guarantee you Lauren Verd will work. So before I get into it, here is the part you wanna listen to, okay? So Bernard, we already know what Bernard does. However, the right side removes beneficial effects Okay, and the left side absorbs your attack bar. So what you want to do here is you see I'm aiming face. What you want to do for most people here with not super great runes is you aim right crystal, left crystal, and then boss. Reason being, I'll show it to you after this run because I already started targeting the boss, but you will notice that I'm slowly starting to lose juice, right? I'm losing momentum here because the right crystal can take away my attack buffs if he strips me, the left crystal can take away my my deeps, right? My attack bar, my deeps is gone. I have run I have ran this a lot of times, and it gets really, really close to losing sometimes because of the left crystal and the right crystal. So I suggest to you, like I showed you just now, you can make it go right, left, boss for super safe runs. And that's the speed of your team will be determined if Shayna uses uh, her first skill or second skill, and we know Shayna got buffed in all, right? But you never know. Sometimes she's, I'm like, in her first run, she's she was hot garbage, right? But here, you will see that it's pretty fast. AoE defense break followed with another AoE nuke. Pretty dang good. So I would probably focus more on the damage side. As long as you go before the Bernards, you should be fine. That's I don't know what the speed range for these Bernards on PvE is, but here we go. Right side, we want to kill the right crystal first, and then we do the left crystal first, okay? So yes, my, my verse has some runes on it, but it's like nothing crazy. It's just um, some leftover violent runes I have, but he's not going to be doing anything. He's not tanking anything. He's not doing that much damage because he's defense-based, right? So you will see here that the Fran died, and that's why I suggested having a violent Fran here, not a swift Fran. But after the left, the right side and the left side dies, the run becomes so so much more safe. And I can show you so many more runs, but I'm sure you want to see different type of comp team compositions. It's one of the things you gotta trust me with. If you have these type of room quality or a little bit less, less speed, more damage, I guarantee you it's gonna be like a one minute give or take team, okay? So I'm not gonna remove the Shayna because Shayna is a really big thing here. Uh, I'm gonna show you the Rauk. So this is my Rauk, super slow Rauk here and it has like negative crit rate. So let's see how Rauk works because it can cycle, also defense breaks, okay? I've never tried this team before, but we're gonna try various teams at this point in the video, but what the hell? Why did Shayna mess that up, huh? Well, garbage. So we use AoE defense break. But you will notice here that my Shayna is not very smart, it seems like, okay? Here you go. So this is, in theory, this is how it works. Fran goes first, Shayna defense breaks everyone, Ralph gets reset city. Same concept as Maruna. Like right here, right? This, this is how it's supposed to be. Your 2A Ralph, right here, gets reset city, and it should be fine. But it obviously, AI never, never works that way all the time, so. It is what it is, but same strategy here, right to left, because it's super safe here, okay? 
So like you saw you saw my Rauk, it's only plus 57 speed. So like in theory, your Maruno Sheena can also be around the speed range. So if you really don't have a Sheena, I'm sorry to say, but your runs are going to be super, super slow. You're not going to be running on Galleon. I don't know any other fire, fire AOE defense break units that you can use. It's kind of Sheena is the unit you want to use here, right? So it's like, this is pretty fast. I would say it's pretty fast. Like it does a lot of damage. Rauk does a lot more damage than Maruna. Same time, but Shayna didn't do anything first round. And you know what? I'm gonna try not using Fran. I'm gonna use Verd. Maybe you're on the little slower side and you wanna just turn cycle, right? And if you have a Bernard, most of you guys probably do Bernard because his third skill, if you didn't know, is 45% attack boost, max skilled, which is really, really good. Really, really good, okay? So most of you guys are probably not doing that. And you're probably, and you're probably most of you guys are probably doing that. And if you're a troll like me, you're probably doing Varus. So right now, I'm showing you this team where it's a super fire team, obviously, because elemental advantage. And yeah, my vert's pretty fast, but ideally you want your vert to go last on your team for maximum value. But at the end of the day, it's pretty hard to make your vert go after your route because your route is probably more damage based, your vert's more tanky based with a lot of speed, right? So in a perfect world, that's what's gonna happen. But obviously it's not, and it's not a big deal. Right, it's not a big deal here. In fact, you see right here that my Verd goes first. If you run a super slow team, you can run it as an attack bar booster and use it that way. But key thing here, they're not being damaged. They're not taking a lot of deeps here because the right and left crystals are being targeted. So this is my super safe run here. I'm sure it can be like one minute consistent a lot faster if I can just target face, okay? So if you don't have like a Rauk or maybe you're kind of struggling with the trash wave killing you. This is where you input the Lauren instead of the Rauk, okay? And then you put a Fran in. You just do turn cycling team compositions here. See, they're all about the one, they're all about one-ish minute, depending if I target face or not. So I'm gonna try another run with this, but this time I'm going to just target boss and see what happens here. Cause you, most of you guys don't want to pay 10 crystals when it fails because it comes on like every hour, every, I think it's every hour that energy refills, right? So most of you guys don't want to do that. And some people, time is money and you will do that. But most of you guys won't. And you probably won't take on this mid boss strategy if you see right now, if it's going to fail. I'm going to do it for you right now and it might fail. And I thought about running Kamun in this team, but... It has to be a crit damage Kamun because it provides a shield, but it doesn't really do enough damage. So I think Rauk here is honestly the best. Look at the Scratch City. As long as your Rauk can do enough damage with Shayna defense break, I think you're like good. And the fact that Rauk can team up with Verd to turn cycle some more, this could be the more optimal team. To be honest with you right now, this, this could be it. And you saw my Rauk. He had dirty runes, okay? Dirty, dirty bad runes. So... After I work on my Varus, I'm going to do my Bernard. So I'm going to take a break from farming off um, runes and I'm going to start doing this. So so here, another face example. 110, six, six seconds slower. But let's try that with Maruna. So you saw that with this is my Verd. Like I said, as long as you go before the trash wave, your verb being that fast does not matter, okay? I don't wanna hear some, some you, I don't wanna hear you crying you don't have runes because you don't need it that fast. Let's try it this way this time, where we have three DPS. Let's see if we can just try to beat one minute. Can we beat one minute here? Um, no, we can't beat one minute here because the AI just derped. Well, thank you so much comp to us. AI, I thought AI got fixed, what happened? You know. Someone was roasting me that I was still using my Julie because Lucian AI got fixed. No, it didn't get fixed. It can still use second skill, dude. Um, so, same concept here. I, yeah, like, you never run Lucian in these dungeons, by the way, because it just have enough juice for the last stage. And when I say juice, I mean, like, momentum. Like, I think, I, for some reason, I, just, I say juice. Okay, um, right now, I can't tell if it's faster or not. Main reason is because the Shayna like does super derp first skill. And you don't need will runes on your Rauk here, by the way, guys. Keep that in mind. You don't need any will runes here, okay? 
You just need him to do super tons of damage, so probably Blade is probably what you're going for here. So for you guys who have a... Ah, uh, that's not fair. The route just scratched a billion times. That's not fair. It's a, it's, it's like one minute, right? This is like one minute. Anyways, let me show you the stats again. And I'm going to reiterate to you guys who skip to the end. You're, you do not need to be as fast as I am. This route is sufficient speed. Okay, it was or it was in the video because I had verb to go first. So if you're slow and you're not fast like me, that's fine. Lose 40 speed here, 50 speed, put more damage, 500, 400 more damage, way to go. Don't use thought 2 speed, right? You want to nuke the boss down. These are my TOA um, units or stats. So this is my Varus that I'm currently working on. I mean, if you run a Bernard with, with your best swift set in this dungeon, it's going to be a lot easier. But if you guys are fodder farming, this is how you want to do it. Anyways, leave a comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video. As always, make sure you follow my Twitch in the description below and my Discord as well.